Lotion. Who's in potion? Lotion. Who's in potion? Mm, 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 mm. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. All right, so I have an empties video. I am going to show you what products I have used over the last little while until they were empty. <laughs> it's my trash, everyone, my trash. Do you wanna see it? Cause I have it. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm going to rebuy and what I'm not. Seeing what people actually use up is, is interesting. It means one of two things. It means that the person actually in really enjoyed that product and so they use it up or they're very like frugal because even though I use these up, it doesn't mean that I, I enjoyed all of them. I'm just stubborn and I used it because I bought it and I paid my paid money for it. So I'm, I'm using it. <laughs> if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel because I do them. So I'm going to start with the biggest category and it usually is the biggest quarter. It usually is the biggest category because it's my hair category because this is my hair. <laughs> I have a lot of it and I get it bleached professionally and I straight iron it sometimes, not all the time. Actually, the last time I did it, I did it curly and I put no heat on it. So I don't always put heat on it, but I do. I, I, I treat my hair with love. Purple shampoo. <laughs> did I go through two of these? Yeah. I have a lot of hair. I have thick hair and I have very long hair. Olaplex. <laughs> so I have purple shampoo. This is one of the best purple shampoos that um, I've ever used. It is very, very, very concentrated. And so, and I have a tendency, like I have, actually it's not as purple right now. I have a tendency to leave it in for too long. You're only supposed to leave it in for like two or three minutes. Oh, it says one to three minutes. I leave it in for like 20 minutes because I like the ends to look purple. Anyways, I go through this a lot. Obviously there's two empties right here. So two empties. Okay. Then let's keep going with shampoo and conditioners. Sol de Janeiro. This is one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners. It smells so good. I love it. Is it expensive? Yes. This pair right here is like $50 it's expensive. Um, this is a really good shampoo and conditioner. It smells amazing. And actually my hair is always softer afterwards. I really, really like it. So I recommend this. This is something that I will repurchase when I am done with the ones in the wings. It is purple. This is a leave-in spray. It's purple because I have, I have this little thing from IGK. It is a leave-in blonde toning drops. You put this in like your anything. You can put this in your shampoo. You can put this in your leave-in conditioner. You can put it in whatever and it tones your anything so that when you have blonde hair and you don't want it to be yellow. Okay. So that's why this is normally white, but I toned it. Um, anyways, this is the way leave-in conditioner in the Byredo um, Mojave Ghost smell. I didn't like this. I, okay, let me, let me explain. I love this way leave-in conditioner, but this Mojave Ghost smell, I didn't love. I know, and I got it because I know people love it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. And it was a blind buy, like blind buy smell wise. Ooh, that doesn't make sense because it was a blind smell. I didn't smell it before I bought it and I don't like it. There it is. I like the original smell and I will continue to buy that one. I will not continue to buy the Mojave Ghost. You know, to each their own. Some people love that smell. And I actually bought it because um, some of the people I follow were raving about it and saying how much they love that smell. And I was like, okay, great, I'll get it. I bet I'll love it. No, I just, it's it's a little bit too masculine. And I actually have a tendency to like, um, like from Bath and Body Works, I get a lot of their masculine smell candles. I just, I didn't want my hair smelling masculine. I guess. I don't know. Then we have this verb. It is shape and define defrizz repair curl cream. <laughs> it's filthy. This has, okay. So story time. Um, I got, let me just go to my cabinet here and tell you all about it. Oh my gosh. They're both filthy Be for the same reason. It's this, um, hair makeup curl Smith. 
it's a hair makeup that it, it's a gel that is rose gold colored. It's actually amazing. It's, it's, I love Curlsmith, the brand. And this gel, this rose gold gel is amazing. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so pretty. You get this at Ulta. It's so pretty. The messiest thing. So I also had this curl cream and I was using them together and it got all over. <laughs> it's so pretty, but it's so messy. So messy. So this one's empty. It's, it was a pretty um, curl cream. I don't remember where I got this. I think I got this from a lot of my curl creams that I have, I get from subscription boxes. Um, because I, I went through last year, I actually went on kind of a, a curly hair journey and I was trying to try out a whole bunch of different products to see which ones worked for my hair the best. Curlsmith, that was the brand that I found that I liked the most for my hair. I probably won't repurchase this one from, although Verve is a brand that I do actually like, but I found that Curlsmith worked for my curls really well. I felt like it had like different levels, like for if you have wavy hair and if you are like trying to get your hair curlier versus if you have like cur coily hair and you're trying to make your hair like less frizzy, like it, what do you want your hair to do? And it was like, okay, here's, here is a product for that. And I was like, okay, my hair is wavy, but I want it to be curlier. Okay, here is a product for that. So I really liked Curlsmith. This was just like a curl cream. I, it does say shape, define, defrizz, and repair, but I didn't feel like it did any of that. I just felt like it was a curl cream. <laughs> so I will not probably repurchase this. Not that it wasn't great. It just wasn't as great as the other stuff I was talking about that I already forgot the name of. Bianca Curlsmith. Woo! This is from Fakai and it is a super strength treatment mask. I use a lot of masks. Again, I put my hair through a lot. So I use a lot of masks. I got this probably from FabFitFun. And was it amazing? I don't remember. If I don't remember, that means it probably wasn't. It wasn't bad, but it was like, I would remember if it was terrible. I would remember if it was amazing. It was somewhere in between. So, I don't remember it being bad. I don't remember it being great. I just remember it being. So I will not repurchase. This is from Soapbox. It was a tea tree soothing scalp treatment. Again, I probably got this in a subscription box. I do, I do like to use scalp treatments a lot. I have psoriasis and I have, I have it under control a lot because I take um, a monthly uh, injectable. My psoriasis is like 95% gone. It used to be all over my body. It was absolutely terrible. But as of now, it's like 95% 95% cleared up. But it still does bother me on occasion. And like on my scalp, my scalp itches. Or um, it'll be on like my cheeks. My cheeks will itch. Anyway, so I do. And just having a, you know, your hair comes out of your scalp. So having a healthy scalp is good for your hair. So it's good to have scalp treatment. And I do actually remember liking this and the soothing part of it, soothing, it says soothing scalp treatment. I remember it being really nice for my itchy psoriasis head. Would I pur repurchase this? Probably, yeah. I do actually have some scalp treatments in the wings because every time like, like BoxyCharm and, um, actually it's BoxyCharm and Ipsy now, but like when BoxyCharm slaps, it's slash Ipsy or FabFitFun has a scalp treatment, I usually get it as my option. So I do have some in the wings right now. So I will not be repurchasing this anytime soon. It was not good enough for me to go out and buy it now and be like, oh my gosh, I need this so bad right now. But it is something that like, when I get through those, I would be like, okay, yeah, yeah. This would be something that I might repurchase as long as it's not like $50. Cause I don't remember it being $50 good, but like $15 good, yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> then, see, this is what I'm talking about. I got this from FabFitFun. It's a scalp treatment. See, I, I do these things. I try. <laughs> I get these subscription boxes. So let's get things that I actually need. Scalp treatments. And this is from Sunday Riley. I didn't know Sunday Riley had hair products. I thought Sunday Riley was a skincare brand. This is a clarifying scalp rinse. This was good. This was good. I really did like this. I remember liking this. So here's the caveat. I would not repurchase this because Sunday Riley is expensive. So 
Okay, if this were the same price as, okay, I'm just guessing that these would be different prices because I've never heard of this brand and I have heard of this brand. Um, okay, if this were $15, $15 would I repurchase it? Now, yes. This is probably $68. I don't want to pay $68 for this. So if this were another option in another subscription box, yes, I would get it. Will I pay my own money for this? Probably not. It's little. Like, let's see. This is four ounces. This is five ounces. This is more. Probably for more less money. But I do remember. This one, like, smelled better, even, and worked better. I'm just hoping FabFitFad had, had it once that they'll have it again. This was actually, it's so funny because do you see this, like, slice come that's out of it? It came to me like this. It came sliced like this. It came, it was from FabFitFun. Is this a FabFitFun commercial? No, this is not sponsored by FabFitFun. I just get a lot from them. Okay, anyways, this came with this, this bag like this. I thought about telling FabFitFun and like getting a new one from them and being like, hey, can I have a replacement? But I ended up just using it anyways. <laughs> like it solidified, there was, there, no, what did I do? I just actually had it come out of this little hole and just, and just used it from there and it, and it ended up fine. It was fine. It's a hair mask, Shea Butter and Hibiscus Nourishing Restorative Hair Mask. It's from Bose, Los Angeles. This one was good. I actually do remember this being good. Was it amazing? No, was it like my, when I say like meh? No, it wasn't meh, it was good. I do actually remember this being good. So this is something that if it were an option in Fat Fit Fun again, I would get it depending on the price. Would I get this again? Yeah, but knowing it's from Los Angeles, it might be pretty pricey. So this, this would be a repurchase, depending on the price. We are done with hair, bath supplies. I actually do have some makeup in here. Can you believe it? Yeah, I hope so. I'm on a no buy, so I should be going through makeup. Okay, bath stuff. This I got from Walmart, so I love baths. I love baths. Baths are my happy place. This is from Village Naturals Plus Therapy. It's chronic pain and fatigue. Um, that sounds a lot like, that sounds like a lot more drama than it is. I, I, I just sit at a desk all day, every day. When I am um, at work, I sit at a desk. When I'm at home and editing videos, I sit at a desk. And do I have the best posture? No, I don't. I do this a lot. So yeah, my shoulders hurt, my back hurts. Yeah, so chronic chronic pain, kind of, for me. It's me having bad posture. Should I be ergonomically sitting? Yes. Is that always possible? No, it's not. This, it has Arnica in it, blueberry and Epsom, and Arnica helps with pain relief. So this was good. Would I ever purchase this? Yes, yes I would. I liked it. Okay, I got these two things. These were from FabFitFun. One of these came from FabFitFun. I think it was in a video. Oh my gosh, this is so FabFitFun heavy. Um, this came from a video of, I got it from FabFitFun and it had leaked. It was half full from FabFitFun and they sent me a new one. So I had one and a half of these and they were, <laughs> this was liquid and it, it's a milk bath. It smelled really good. This, what I liked about it is that it says it gently cleanses. So I liked that. Like I felt like it was also cleansing. I liked it, I thought it was good. But for, it's a mineral milk bath for the price. I remember this being a high price and it is, it's not a lot of product. It, it really isn't. It's eight ounces, but I think you're supposed to use like a good amount per bath. Do, 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 do. add desired amount to running bath. What's this? I could use the whole thing. That's the desired amount. You know, it, 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 this would be like, I don't know, like four baths worth. And I don't know, I guess you could stretch it out, but uh, in order for it to actually like to smell it in my bath, I wanted to use a good amount. So um, it, for the price, it was not worth it for me to repurchase this. It was nice. I did enjoy it and I did enjoy it as an, as an, an item in my FabFitFun, but it would not be a repurchase. This is from Bath and Body Works. I did purchase this. This is at the beach shower gel. 
This is one of my, you can't really, there it is. This is one of my favorite smells from Bath and Body Works at the beach. I love summer. Summer is like one of my favorite seasons. And this smells like sunblock at the beach does. And I love it. So I was excited to finish this. This is crushed because I was getting every last drop out of it. This is from Lush. It is in the, sh in the shade, in the smell Happy Hippie. Anyways, it, I think I got this in like a bundle or something, like in a box. And it is, it says shower gel, get zest for success with this groovy, uplifting grapefruit gel. I don't really think I liked it that much. I used it because clearly I did. And Lush things are very, very pricey. But my favorite smell from Lush is their sleepy smell. It smells like lavender times a million. It smells like la sugared lavender. It smells mm, so good. So uh, I think I got this because it was in like a bundle with something else that I wanted. This was not that great. It, it was okay, but I would buy Sleepy a hundred times before I bought this one again. So I will not be repurchasing this one. And I will, if I have the money to buy Lush, I will buy Sleepy. Lotions and potions. Lotions and potions. Lotions and potions. Mm, 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 mm. When I get out of the bath, I put on lotion at the beach again. I love summer. Um, this is a super soft body butter. Over 24 hours of that moisture. I was gonna say moisturation. Whew, okay. I use the whole, oh, it still smells like at the beach. <laughs> it smells like sunblock. Okay, there it is. I used all, it all up. Oh, there's hairs on this side. I used it 100% up. Okay, would I already buy this? Yeah. Have I already rebought it? Maybe, I can't remember. I think I do have, I don't think I have this tub of it, but I think I have a lotion in, in it already. Um, if I haven't already bought it, the semi-annual sale for, for Bath and Body Works is coming in like June, right? Maybe. And I will repurchase another one. So yeah, I like at the beach that much. So this is into the night and there is a little bit left, but can I get that out? No, I was like trying really hard to get it out and it is, it's, it's, it's stuck in there for, it's, it's not coming out. Anyways, this is a really good smell. Um, I this I feel like is a good winter smell. It's very like oh, romantic smelling. It's like on a, it's like, it says into the night, but it's like a very like date night smell to me. It's very uh, romantic and sultry. I have, I have a backup of this, not in the lotion. I have it in the cream and I got it during the semi-annual sale during winter time. So I do already have a backup of this in the like, this is the lotion. I have a cream of it. Mm. So yes, I don't need to buy a backup. I already bought a backup of that one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then, <laughs> this is the little one. I think it's fun to add little ones because I don't always have huge sizes. Sometimes I have little sizes. This is in the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I This this saves my hands. I have really dry hands in the winter time. And I put this exclusively like on my hands because it it really like saves them from cracking. And so yeah, this is what I use on my hands in the winter time. So now we are getting to more of that makeup realm. Like everything else was more kind of a skin, hair. We are still on skin, but I feel like it's my face. We're getting to my face. As in we are on my face. This is where we're at the, the sweet spot. <laughs> I don't know if this, but okay, face. This is, this is the part where I feel like it's, it's harder to go through things, I guess is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it's a lot easier to go through hair care. It's a lot easier to go through like body lotion, whereas facial stuff, I have smaller facial area. Okay. Obviously there is a lot more surface area on my entire body and I have a lot more hair. Whereas the, I guess this is what I'm talking about on my face, I have a lot more facial surface area. So it's a lot harder to go through things. So it's a bigger achievement to get through things on my face. <laughs> now, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Cleansers. Milk. I went through this cleanser. Actually, I went through it really fast. I was surprised at how fast I went through this. It is the milk vegan. Okay. So milk vegan milk cleanser. Milk is the brand, but I think it's a milk cleanser also. 
interesting, but I went through it fast and it was good. It was a good cleanser. I liked it. Um, then, and I do a two step cleanser. My first step is a, like an oil based cleanser. Yeah. These are a cleansing balm is what I meant. So I have, my first step is a cleansing balm, which I should have just done this one first. And then this one second, because we have a cleansing balm and then we have like a, I don't know, like a, a gel cleanser, right? At the second, first, second. So anyways, I went through both of these. This is pharmacy. I got this in a three pack. And so this is the second one that I went through. This one, the first one was peach, right? Yeah, it was peach. This one is lemon. And the last one I'm using it right now, it is strawberry. I like uh, this pharmacy one and I will probably repurchase the pharmacy. I've really enjoyed those. The only problem is they, they came with a spatula and I lost it. I originally, the first time I ever purchased one of these balms, I got it from Drunk Elephant and it had a spatula that was magnetized to it. And I threw that away. No, I mean, I recycled it, but it actually, no, you can't recycle magnets. Did I throw away the magnet and I recycled the rest? Okay. Yes. That's what I did. Anyways, it's gone now. And I feel like I wish I would have kept that packaging component and like scooped everything into that package component because I lost the spatula for this and from now on I've been like using this as a spatula and this is one of those hair clips that you like put I just I just tore apart the hair clip to you like it it's not a spatula I've, I've lost the spatula and I'm like why can't they all have a magnetic spatula and this one this one from wishful never had a spatula like what why do you guys not have spatulas? And like, if you're not gonna have a magnet, like have it like at least be like in a compartment or something. I don't understand the spatula situation because it's a, it's a balm, it needs a spatula. Anyways, this one was terrible. I hated this one. It was too goopy. Like it wasn't a firm gel, but it was like, it was like in between a gel and a, and a balm and it, it was just, and it didn't really cleanse very well. This one, this one from Wishful is a not a repurchase. I didn't, I got this one in a mystery box from Huda Beauty and I didn't, I used it all. This was, this is me being, you know, stubborn where I'm going to use it because I, I purchased it. I mean, I didn't purchase this. I purchased the mystery box, but I'm going to use it because I have it. But did I really like this? No. It says it melts tenacious makeup. I don't agree with that. This one was not great. I don't agree. Um, this one was great. The pharmacy, great. Loved it. And it smelled good. From Muran, I have a hydrating toner. This was great. This was great. Where did I get this? I think I got this from Ipsy. I got this from a subscription box. Which one? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it was Ipsy. I liked this a lot. This, this lasted for a really good long time. And I liked that it had the sprayer. Like it has a sprayer. I'm going to do it. Oh. <gasps> I was not surprised. This is empty. Why was there still a spray left? I liked that it had a sprayer. Most toners just have like a, you just like it has a, a dropper kind of system. I liked the sprayer because I sprayed it on my face and then used the cotton pads to, to do it. I, I loved the delivery system for this one. And I used this all the way from when I had Accutane and on, and I was able to, um, it was a hydrating toner. So I felt like it didn't, my already really dry skin with the Accutane, um, it, it didn't dry my skin out even more. And I feel like with toners, they usually, you know, they kind of dry you out. And so I loved this Murad. I would repurchase this Murad is expensive. So I would prefer to get it in another subscription. So I don't know. I don't know if that would happen, but I would prefer. Glow recipe. I did get this in a subscription. A lot of these I got in subscriptions, okay? It just proves that I get a lot of subscription boxes and I use what I get in them. I do, I do, I, I, I do. I mean, I get them and I use them. Is it, I mean, I think that's a good thing, right? <laughs> okay, this is from Glow Recipe. This is the watermelon niacinamide dew drops. I remember everybody talking about these and I remember these were like $32. I don't know how much they are now, but I remember having these in my Sephora card during the VI, one of the VIB sales. I think it was like two years ago and not ending up getting them because I was thinking, I was like, that's so expensive. Although thinking about it, these are 
this is a serum. $32 for a serum is actually not expensive. That is a pretty good price for a serum. I think it's about an ounce. So that's actually a reasonable price for a serum. So I think I just, I had a lot of serums and I do have a lot of serums because of my subscription boxes. So, and then I was able to get this in a BoxyCharm. So I, then I was really glad that I never picked it up because I got it in a BoxyCharm. Okay, so all said and done, did I like it? No, I didn't. <laughs> so I'm glad I never purchased it from Sephora. For, it wouldn't have been full price. It would have been 20% off, but I didn't like this and everybody loves these. And okay, so the, the main reason I didn't like this was the pump. And, and I'm, it might be because it was from BoxyCharm. And I'm wondering if, if like they had a couple of them that like, if Glow Recipe had ones that like the pump were off and they were like, okay, let's give these a BoxyCharm. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know exactly how the subscription box works, but the pump was really crappy. I remember having to push, even when it was like at the full, at the top, having to push like 10 times just to get a little bit out. The pump was really terrible. It drove me nuts. So there was a, the majority of the time I would just unscrew it and be like, ah, just give me some. So the pump was absolutely terrible. And I would just, I'd be so frustrated by, frustrated by the time I got some out that I'd be like, is this even worth it? <laughs> so was it like, by the time I got it out, was I like, you know, I, I don't even know. Was it good? It was fine. It was a serum. It was like, I felt like people talked it up and was like, this is the greatest serum in the world. And I was like, it's a serum. I didn't think it was that special. It went on my face. It hydrated my face. It was a serum. It smelled like watermelon. People talked it up. Again, it could be that mine wasn't that great because it did come from BoxyCharm. But that makes me uncomfortable that like they're giving the not really great one to BoxyCharm. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not a repurchase for me. I, I have better serums, creams. I have um, two creams that I went through. So this is a tiny one. I believe I got this one from a birthday gift from Sephora. This is from Drunk Elephant. It is a Oh, they have the weirdest names, right? This is a proteiny polypeptide cream. I, you know, it's a little one. I, should it be faster to go through little ones? Yes. The problem is I don't go through little ones very often because I have these big ones. I have these big ones open, so I don't go, I don't use the little ones very often. And then I'm like, Bianca, you have this little one open, use it. So anyways, I had this one. It was really nice. It was a really thick cream and it didn't have a smell to it. So it was nice. It was a nice cream. Um, the problem is these are really expensive. So uh, I probably wouldn't repurchase this because the full size is probably like $50. So um, this one is from Wander Beauty. I got this one in. Let's, let's hear it. A subscription box. <laughs> I think I got it from BoxyCharm. This one smelled like lavender and lavender is one of my favorite smells. It is from Wander Beauty. It's called Do Not Disturb Overnight Repair Concentrate. It has 1% retinoid, which I actually don't know if what's the difference. Like what's retinoid versus retinol? But this was the first time I ever experimented with retinol slash retinoid. And um, I was afraid because I was like, uh, you know, I hear you're supposed to like build up with retinol because it can be um, harsh on your skin. And, and I'm getting older, I'm 37. So I was like, okay, let's start using this now. But it wasn't, it wasn't harsh on my skin at all. It was, it was very, and I'm wondering if it's cause it's a retinoid, not a retinol, but it was, it was really nice. I, I liked it from the first pump to the last pump. And I liked the delivery system. It was just this like pump. It, it pumped really, <laughs> you know, there was the pump system on this one that was terrible. And the pump system on this one, that was fantastic. So this one was great. This one was great. This would be a repurchase if I didn't have so many lotions and potions in my backup drawers that I already have. In all of my empties videos, except for my last empties video, I had this AYR. I have another one. And I think it was my last one was during like summertime. And so I didn't have this. And this one was during winter time. So AYR is a nasal saline gel. I think it actually can be pronounced air. I just always say AYR because I don't know, I just do. I think the the ENT, the ear, nose, and throat doctor I originally went to that suggested it to me said AYR. And so that has now been when I got it. I started using this when I was 16 because I got my deviated septum fixed when I was 16. And he had me use this to 
keep my nostrils <laughs> hydrated. <laughs> I had that surgery and um anyways I've been using it since I was 16 I am now 37 this has been a product that I have used for 21 years and I have loved it ever since I used to get it at Walmart I can't find it at Walmart anymore I get it at Amazon now it's a couple bucks this is the most tried and true product in this whole batch I will buy this until the day I die I love this product <laughs> I love it because it's the most ridiculous thing. It's a nasal gel, but I love it. It has changed my life. Uh, anyways, it makes your nose, it like makes you feel like a new person. After, I'm not crying and laughing. Oh my gosh, it's the most ridiculous product, but it's life-saving, not really, but it's funny. It's, it's really good. It's a really good product. If you have dry nostrils, try this product. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to some, some makeup slash makeup adjacent products. Actually, this was not makeup at all. Do you see this? You can't even see what this is. It was, bully, uh, bel it says belief. I've had this for too long and I should have finished it a long time ago. It's an eye cream. It's an eye cream. It has rubbed off because I've had it too long. Okay, the problem is eye creams take a really long time to use because you have, okay, your whole face has like not very much surface area. Under your eyes has the least amount of surface area out of everywhere. So it took me forever. Like I used this every day forever and it still took me forever to get through it because you have so little surface area under your eyes. So I think it was by belief. Anyways, I probably shouldn't have even put it in here because I rubbed it off, but it was a good, it was like an aqua balm kind of thing. I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. It was good. Okay. So I have a primer. This is by Avant. It's a pro collagen mm, isododecane. Okay. There's a lot of scientific chemistry words. Again, I'm a biologist, not a chemist. So I don't want to talk about those words. It is a pro perfecting collagen primer. There we go. Great. I think I got this in a subscription box and it was way too expensive. I remember this being like a $120 primer. And I remember being like <sighs> frustrated with this primer because I was like, if I really like it and I want to repurchase it, I'm going to have to pay $125 out of pocket. I don't want to pay for that. And so I almost was like, I'm just going to get rid of this primer. And then I ended up using it and it was nothing very special. It was a primer. And then my stubborn self was like, well, I used it. I'm going to keep using it. So I used it. I used it up. It's a primer. I'm glad that I don't want to repurchase it because it was a really expensive primer. I don't want to repurchase it. It, it was a primer. It was a good primer. But uh, I hear that collagen, you're actually, if you put it on your face, it really does not do anything. You're supposed to like ingest it to actually do anything. So mm, primer. Yeah. Okay. Makeup. There's only three makeup items, but makeup's hard to go through. <laughs> Rare Beauty. <laughs> it's a mini size. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is another primer. It is always an Optimus um, illuminating primer. I went through it. It's a tiny little primer. It's the illuminating primer from Rare Beauty. It was a great primer. I have um, a full size of this primer, not this one. It is the matte primer. And so I will not be repurchasing the illuminating one because I have a matte one. They're both good though. Yay. This is an eyebrow pencil and eyebrow pencils. Oh my gosh, there's hair. Eyebrow pencils are something I use up all, all the time. This one is from Chella. I got this one from TJ Maxx and I loved it. I loved it. This is I, my very, very, very first eyebrow pencil was also from Chella and I got it from a subscription box and I saw this at TJ Maxx and I repurchased it for memory's sake and I still loved it. It is in the shade taupe and I loved it. It was great when I first, my very first one, this one was great too. If I find another one from TJ Maxx or I get another one from like from Chella or I get another one in a subscription box from Chella, I'll be happy. Chella is a great eyebrow pencil brand, I guess. Um, I will not be repurchasing like at full price another one because I have a lot of eyebrow pencils in my 
Alex Nine drawers, but eyebrows are something that I, I mean, you can see it's in my empties because they, I, you can go through them really quickly, even though I, I keep talking about surface area, even though there's not a lot of surface area, I feel like eyebrow pencils, they're just, there's just something you go through quickly for some reason. And so, um, if I, that is why I'm saying I would repurchase it if I got it for like TJ Maxx again, but it's not something I would buy for full, full price because I have backups already. Okay. Last but not least. I got this from Benefit. It is the Roller Lash Liner. I got this for half off, I believe, during the 21 Days of Beauty sale from Ulta. It's a brown eyeliner. Um, I actually do have a backup of this. I got it in a bundle. And so technically I did repurchase. This one was not that great though. Um, it dried up really quickly. So that's why it's even here because it dried up. I felt like faster than most eyeliners dry up. I felt like like it was a true brown. It was nice in the fact that like some brown eyeliners are kind of like a black brown. And so it's like, what's the point? This one was a nice color that it actually did look brown. I just felt like it dried up too fast. Do I have another one that I got in a bundle set from, I think it was like a Sephora favorites bundle. Yes, I do. And I like the color, but it, it just dried up too fast. So will I buy another another? No, I won't. I'm done. 50 minutes later. Thank you so much for watching this far. You are a rock star. If you like this video, like this video. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be um, notified of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.